Okay, this is a, um, a presentation of the portraiture uh, class that I will be teaching. I would like you to take a look at some of the portraits that I've worked on as um, a portrait student and um, get some ideas for the portraits that you will be doing. Your portraits can range from uh, realistic to uh, impressionistic to um, surrealistic. Uh, they can be humorous, they can be serious, they can be um, parodying art history. Um, I've done some examples of some of these and I'll be showing those. Um, but I want you to get some ideas, have some freedom and liberality to make some choices. You may use acrylic paints, you may use watercolors, you may use oils, you may use an oil pastels, you may use chalk pastels, um, you may use pencil, and you may use pen and ink. Um, this is a very um, student-directed uh, class, and the projects will be very focused on your own abilities and your own uh, self-directed um, accomplishments. Um, you'll be graded on your self-effort, your thinking outside the box, your creativity. And let's begin by showing you some of the works that I've done um, to uh, give you some ideas of what you may do. First is a self-portrait that I did. Not one of my favorites, but um, this is me uh, that I had done back in um, uh, finished in November of 2012. Uh, again, not one of my favorites, but um, it was a it was a concept that I wanted to build from um, using acrylic paints. Most of these are in acrylic paints. In fact, I think all of these are. Um, but again, you, you're free to choose other mediums, uh, media. media. Um, that is a realistic painting, although this one I think is a little more realistic representation of me. Uh, this one was done, this was actually the first one I did in a portrait class um, that I was taking uh, in the fall of 2012. Um, this one is called Self-Portrait in Autumn. And my mom doesn't like it because I'm not smiling. Um, then, um, this is a more recent one I haven't actually finished, it's one I'm working on. But this is me making a face called the Gookie. The Gookie was the um, face that Harpo Marx made uh, in many of the movies of, that the Marx Brothers made in the 1930s, um, even into the 1940s. Uh, the Gookie was a butcher in a, a downtown ghetto of uh, New York City that um, Harpo Marx studied um, his face while he was butchering and when he was cutting meat he would make this face and so that was the face that Harpo Marx uh, imitated um, uh, I, I will probably show you some of the photography that I've done where I've actually imitated the Marx Brothers um, and done Photoshop work that will be for another lesson uh, part two of the portraiture will be uh, photography self-portraiture. But anyway, this uh, this one would be painting. Um, then here's an idea of parodying um, uh, art, hist art history. I'm a big fan of Vincent van Gogh and this is based on a I think 1889 self-portrait. I'm not sure what year it was of Vincent van Gogh but of course this is supposed to be me looking like Vincent van Gogh. Again I like to parody fine art history. Another uh, famous painting of Vincent van Gogh was his self-portrait with ear bandage and pipe. Um, I did a portrait of myself. Obviously I don't have the bandage. I have my ear, so I called it self-portrait with ear and pipe. I believe again this was uh, based on a 19, I'm sorry, 1889 portrait that Vincent did of himself after he had been wearing a bandage. Um, to cover the ear lobe that he had uh, sliced off. He did not cut off his ear, he cut off the ear lobe. Um, 
of course I called this um, self-portrait with ear and pipe. Um, and I wrote a poem actually at the time that I uh, did this painting. Uh, and here it is. Is the line twixt insanity and genius really quite that clear? Vincent had his torments. I still have my ear. Uh, another project I worked with my students on was uh, we did a study in uh, The Starry Night, A Starry Night, um, by Vincent Van Gogh. And, of course, so portraiture being one of my fortes is uh, I wanted to do a self-portrait um, within the Starry Night. So I actually uh, I painted this. Um, I'm new to Lincoln, Nebraska. And, um, of course, Lincoln is called the Star City. And I think outside the box. I'm a creative thinker, a creative